Hello, this is Dungeon Lurker. As many of you know, the original Dark Souls is getting the remaster treatment, and I am incredibly excited. Rather than spend the time reiterating what most of us already know in terms of the changes to frame rate and the inclusion of the DLC, I'm going to briefly speak on a couple changes that I'm hoping to see as well as what I don't want from Dark Souls Remastered. One of the best aspects of the Dark Souls games is build variety. Dark Souls 2 introduced the ability to respec or reallocate all of your stat points with single use items called soul vessels. Dark Souls 3 gave players the ability of limited respecs per new game cycle through a covenant. Either way, the system would be a great addition to Dark Souls. Namely, I'm thinking of a newcomer running through the game with a strength build by the time they reach the DLC area and discover dark magic, investing souls into intelligence to use them won't be easy. Implementing this could be as easy as an added covenant feature if there are plans to revamp the covenant system in Dark Souls Remastered. And speaking of covenants, I'm hoping we'll see improved functionality to the various covenants. I only dabbled in PvP in the first Dark Souls, so this is mostly me hopping on the bandwagon from hearing others say this. But Dark Souls is my favorite in the series, and this is a great opportunity to experience constant forest invasions and the mysticism of Gravelording. If you watched my Dark Souls 2 streams or YouTube videos, you know that I'm a big fan of the game. Scholar of the First Sin brought about some incredible changes to Dark Souls 2. Of those changes, the addition of more deadly red phantoms was a favorite. These enemies kept New Game Plus and subsequent New Game cycles fresh and exciting. Similar to the addition of character respecking, I don't see a reason not to include an easy to do change like this. The next change I have in mind may not matter to most players, but it's kind of important to me. I would love to see some additional achievements and trophies related to the DLC added to the game. Bloodborne is the only Soulsborne game to have done this with the old Hunters DLC. I'm not looking for anything too crazy. Even simple ones for defeating each DLC boss and collecting all the dark magic would be fine. Why not, right? My guess is that this won't happen though. If anything, the only amendment to the achievement and trophy list will be to the Wisdom of a Sage achievement and trophy, which is acquired for collecting all sorceries. This may require a playthrough of the DLC to collect the dark sorceries, similar to how Scholar of the First Sin achievements and trophies require the DLC spells to unlock. Now I'm one of the many Souls fans that never played Demon Souls, but the news of server closures, I was anticipating a Demon Souls remaster. Clearly I was wrong. But Dark Souls Remastered proves that it is possible, so I am still holding out hope that we will see a Demon Souls Remaster. And why not, right? From is barely involved in this one, just pass it off to Q-Lock as well. My final point here is something that I do not want out of this remaster, and this might be a bit controversial. I'm hoping that Dark Souls Remastered does not introduce any large changes to the areas like the Demon Ruins and Lost Isolith. As disappointing as it may be that these areas and frankly most areas after in Orlando feel rushed and uninspired in their current state, I hope that Dark Souls Remastered remains as true to the original as possible. And I believe this is what my other points get across. Unless there is cut content ready to be slapped on that didn't make it into the original game, I'm afraid that any additions to the lacking areas of Dark Souls could be even more of a disappointment after all of these years. Ultimately, just don't fuck this up. Dark Souls has taught us that less is more through its rich storytelling and world building. The first game is a flawed masterpiece for sure, and there is a reason why people still play it frequently to this day. There's about six and a half years worth of information from the community on what we love and don't love about the game, and I hope that they use all of that wisely. So thanks for listening to what I have to say on Dark Souls Remastered. Feel free to let me know your thoughts, and I hope you enjoyed watching me fist the Asylum Demon.